that people are talking about some other key matchups, especially when we look at what we think is probably not even enough points for the scoreboard to handle, which is Oklahoma's offense going against Texas this weekend. How do you see this one playing out, Rick? Well, the, the odds makers are saying it's going to be the scoreboard going crazy. I think they got the over-under somewhere around 75, wow. uh, which is by far and away the most points for the weekend. Uh, listen, Texas has struggled mightily against the pass. They're giving up 325 yards a game. Now, they've been beaten up with the injuries in the back end. We saw them play almost exclusively man coverage against Joe Burrow and the LSU team, and that didn't work. Uh, they, the Tigers scored 45 that night. Uh, so they're going to have to have some answers on the back end because Oklahoma's averaging over 600 yards of offense every game. So that, to me, if they do that, then they give up Jalen Hurts on the ground. Jalen Hurts has nearly 500 yards rushing already this year. I think he's 23rd in the country and averages 8.8 .8 per carry. So it's, it's pick your poison for Todd Orlando and that Texas defense. But the good news, if you're a Texas fan, is they've got Sam Ellinger, who I think puts on a cape every week and just <laughs> finds a way to – to lead Texas to, uh, if they don't win, at least give up a heck of a fight. Ellinger is is John Wayne of Texas football. I mean, he is tough. I mean, I think it's much see television. Mm -hmm. I think Oklahoma ultimately wins the game, but uh, I think you're going to be really treated to some extra special quarterback play. Rick Neuheisel, CBS Sports College Football Analyst, joining the Rich Eisen Show. Kirk Morrison here filling in for Rich. But, uh, you know, Rick, one of the things that – and I want you to put your head coaching hat on for a minute, okay? If I'm trying to devise a game plan to <laughs> – Let me see if I can dust it off. <laughs> yeah, dust it off for me a little bit, Coach. Uh, but when you look at a guy like Jalen Hurts, and you've had a chance to really watch him extensively with, with CBS over the last couple of years, but you're seeing a different quarterback this year, a guy who's been able to throw. We knew about his running ability, but him as a passer this season, how would you try to stop him in, in this football game? Well, he's, uh, he's much improved. And I, I would go back even a year, uh, while Lincoln Riley certainly deserves some credit, so too does Dan Enos, mm. who uh, was the quarterback coach, coach there yeah. at Alabama last year while, while Jalen watched Tua Tunga Bailoa play. I think he got better. As a matter of fact, he was ready when they needed him in that SEC championship game. He goes in there and goes five for five on third down to help beat uh, Georgia and get Alabama back in the playoff. Uh, but He's clearly a much more refined quarterback today than he was when he was 26 and two as the starter at Alabama, where, you know, Lane Kiffin's offense had him looking deep and then coming down to a check down and then running. Uh, this to me has uh, much more in terms of scanning the field, getting across things. And when he's able to do that and you get guys like CD lamb running deep, open patterns, uh, it's been wildly dangerous. I mean, he's had over 400-yard passing games. He's run for as much as 175 uh, with his own legs. Uh, it's, a tough, uh, it's a tough offense to corral, which we've known about Lincoln Riley, but in terms of a guy who can run between the tackles, you know, Kyler Murray was a guy who could run outside, but uh, this guy can run downhill. That makes it really, really tough for a defense to uh, figure out a way to stop them. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.